Okay, on a question, question on a cabo. This is the World Body Better Power Gentry program. We in our union is right around, you know, around the world now, and they bring this program to now. Everybody now, so we wanna see can they present or advocate or whatever. We know not they get paid. We don't do this because we let we come to one give back to we people. Left. This program will not provide personalized advice. We only provide um, general advice for let people and go know waiting for do in certain circumstances or situation or waiting for look for before you go see the doctor or you go see doctor, the kind of question they will for ask. And that guidance they will try to provide people in there. So we get that knowledge. We need simply not understand the language the way they can go to hospital, can go talk. The only problem is something they can not tell you bad news. You know, something that can be difficult for the able to dissect with you exactly the doctor they talk to you. But now, yeah, we will break things down to real own level. You know, and I create the talk where we all understand. Um, we will make them easy for them to understand. Within, if we go to the doctor, we will for hotel them within the art we or within the morning we. Okay, and also how for look after ourselves. So today, like I said, today our forty fourth session, um, which means we don't day now two years. Uh, before we make some birthday celebration like how we do last year, but. And um, for certain events, then we don't happen. We know the now we come to we know we will celebrate and December, but God for next year we will celebrate. Okay. So today we look at leukemia when I blood cancer and uh, we own doctor, uh, Dr. MSI Kamara. When I emergency medicine consultants in Manchester and I am um, in the present to you today. We get people at the panel with the world body, but if I gently and team members them, uh, most of them are sabi them already. However, if um, for the benefit of the one that we don't know. At the end, um, we people they ask questions within the answer, then people will also be able to introduce themselves before they talk. Okay, and me your name like I've said before, and I'm in name Timo John Fuller, and I'm in the host. Okay. Now, like I've said before, um, the program will run in Creole, and I also will give generalized advice number to people and for that we understand waiting at the scientific issues and what we can get. We need to see the person, you know, if not nah, traditional, you want to use and nah, your own choice. However, we didn't ask for give you that explanation from a scientific perspective. So you go understand what they happen to you, see, not to say that you want to get it happen to or all to it, we happen to you now and I do then do you. Something in that simple medical stuff. So we didn't have to provide that general advice day for those people and will be more educated in waiting for do in certain circumstances. Okay. We videos them there on YouTube. So if you want to see the past sessions, them then they on YouTube. We also get a Facebook page, and also you can contact me on WhatsApp. If you want to join you in the group, please let me know. Contact me on the number there. Um, we will make sure so we add you to the group. So at least all the information they will send out, you normally miss out on them. Okay. You can also follow me on uh, um, Facebook. See what's in the app one because we can have the post of flowers and there's a thing they, we can do Facebook live sessions, and also you can follow me on YouTube for see the old program that we did on past before. Now, um, during the program, we we'll ask the general, you know, ask questions, and we we'll go for mute everybody. Not to say we we'll try for be rude. It's just a one allow the presenter let present without somebody not interrupt them. But at the end, you can ask question either by yes, you are not physically like this, and we ask, you know, we come to you, or you can go on the Zoom tool. If you click on this bit now, on the Zoom tool, you will see. If you click on this, it will show you this. We we'll show you this. You go to chat. For they talk to me, ask a question just in case you need shame or be back. I know how they get noise. You know, I ask question verbally. You can ask a question by chat. But if you want issue and for ask question, you can use this button as so for issue and where I see you now first come first serve. That's how I go on. So dear me family, them. If I not see you quick, I go to somebody else and obviously they ignore you. They are and they apologize now in advance. So without further ado, I they can pass on now to um, Dr. Kamara. We will take on through the session today. Okay. If you have not do any feedback, comments, or updates or anything on our tell we now we email address this and now we uh, WhatsApp number this. Okay. Dr. So Kamar, over to you, sir. Yeah, Trumbullen. I do, I do. Uh, thank you, thank you for joining me today. Uh, I think say when I all go agree with me, say this is a very important topic. We we beaucoup people them no no say 
then get time and uh, because they say that TV advocate people anymore. Um, so man, nobody know what for do and how important this one is because believe you me, if they're not diagnosed this sick, uh, within a few weeks, it's possible to say they, they can kill the person. And I make it important for the, we know about them, you know, and uh, I decide to say, uh, I go look at this sick, try for talk to her now from me on. From all oh, right, who's that? From, from my own perspective, I, because I mean, uh, emergency medicine, uh, A &E, and E at the work, and most of them people are when they come to tell you why when they first day they can serve. Now we then can present to it. Now when they come to we now we can diagnose them. So important for me to tell you how we look at them from we own part, you know, the A and E department. Because the people that we actually specialize, the doctor that we specialize, and this sick, then call them a hematologist, the one that would look at the blood. But because then they see them, so past we diagnose them, then we call them. And I make it important for many people to know within the sick from the A and E uh, point of view. So as you can see, we can start with a bit of a background as to within this sick time leg. Like, you know, as I don't tell you, a sick way not common. So no, although uh, every year from 2018, they can get up to 8,000 new cases where they can, can diagnose. You know. And because then they come to win at the A and E department, then now we can get for do that. Now, of course, when I go down here, but um, acute leukemia, we get two types. Then get the the myeloid one, we you know, not the red one, and then you get the lymphatic one, we not the white one. When I go get for C and know about this thing as we go on, but now two types, uh, even three types, but the two types now the acute myeloid and the acute uh, lymphatic lymphatic one. So. Uh, one thing we will get for learn from this is that, as I say no more, if you not able to get this thing diagnosed and get treatment soon, well, and then the sickness itself, now you go kill the person or the complication, then go kill them. But most of them, they come through it. So then they, so then now when they do blood tests by the GP, now the GP go forget that uh, diagnosis made, and then they can then refer them to the hematologist. But the vast majority of them, now we then can come through. So whenever we do some talk that I find for we're able to define, we're able for describe what in this thing, you know. So the big boss pan we win at the World Health Organization, now then use this classification, you know, of this sick here, this hematology, when a blood sick. And this one, uh, as they call them, you know, hematological malignancies that now blood cancer, you know. As you know, the blood they get to line them. When I go see on the drawing where I, where I go come, you know, later on. Uh, the one line I do, I would give you the red, and the other one would give you the white one. Them so the myeloid, then will give you the neutrophils, eosinophils, you know, and the other one the way now platelets where they help with the clotting, and then the lymphoid, and uh, then the way you get to do with the infection. So B lymphocytes, T lymphocytes, and NK cell, and then they all not just big big time them. But what it means is that you get two types. You get the one with the AML, and you get the one with the ALL. So. So leukemia means cancer cell them with the, not the blood, you know. So they split them again to two types. Then get the one with the acute, we, you just know you don't, you don't, you don't get for, for diagnosis. Huh? And the one we go down, they don't turn from acute, don't turn to chronic. So two types, then they, then they, 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 you know. Uh, as I say, if you know able to control this thing and diagnose them within weeks, it possibly say you kill person. That's not for the acute one. For the chronic one, of course, now complications then go up in, you know, thing that would lead to another, then and that would take some months, something in the years, if at all they're not treated. So it all depends whether the acute one will go kill within weeks or months, and then the chronic one will go kill from months to years. And then, then the third one, as, as I've been saying, a lymphoma. This F, na, na cancer, but in your own, the lymphocytes, them, you know, where they present like where you get swelling them, na the neck, you know, na the ampute, na the groin. You know, then of course it can affect uh, the, the, the spleen and the liver, depending on which one. But they can overlap with one another. You know, it's very difficult for the distinguish one from the other. Past the person where they look the blood, then go for tell you. But when they come to we, we know say they're sick, and so therefore, if they come, they sick, then get temperature, then they tremble. You know, feel unwell. First thing you can do, obviously, when I go get for find out, we need for treat them as if to say, now the M1 you get on the L1 or the third one lymphoma. No matter, as long as you treat the complications, you go get somewhere. 
So if you look at this picture, I bring up for level nineteen. Now, what in the normal one look like? If you look on top here, and if you look at the bottom one, you will see how the leukemia cell they look. You will see the difference between the normal and the leukemia one. Definitely, you see the white cells and then get blue. You get the platelets when and they help you for let the blood clot. So if you cut you on, you know go bleed past mark. You will see the platelets then. And then the red cells we of course we not see the hemoglobin. So if you lose too much blood, hemoglobin will go down. You know. But if you the white cells then go down, then obviously you're prone to infection and then they can cause a lot of problems there. So that's that the picture that way you see how then they walk you know, the body, how then they pull the blood where they are bogged and where you go see and they blast it and big pass the other one, they compare them and they are abnormal. So that's what the leukemia picture look like. So if I introduce the subject, well, as I say, this particular talk with the talk, they focus on then two year, then two one year, the myeloid one and the lymphoblastic one. So a, M, L, and A, L, L. Then two sick uh, as I said, they can come, uh, they present one from the other, if very dis difficult to distinguish them, past you see the blood test, you know. Um, so the, we, for we own, uh, 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 if you, for we own, uh, I would say simplicity, we they refer to them as acute leukemia, all then two, you know, so. As I say, I can't emphasize enough. If we're able to recognize that in time, so until we will for save the person. If not, if possible, say you lead the person to quick death. No questions about that. So, how the blood they form? Well, in the adults, the blood they form at the bone marrow. So the main one, now the pelvis, this uh, call them the hip bone, the, you know, that the, that waist bone, as we call it, pancreo. Now they inside they, now they, this blood can form, you know. Then of course the long bone, them the leg. Like the thigh and the, the lower limb, the same, but mainly not the pelvis, not anything from and of course, some manual only can form the, 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 the breastbone, the sternum itself can get that. You see, so the first cell, then we don't call stem cells, and then they bone, and then they give rise to then what the we the lymph or the myeloid, you know, and then of course, you go in a stepwise maturation, they mature from one, two, three, four, five, six, and then they become the full one that they're supposed to be, the one the way they look. At neutrophils, where they go rise, if you get acute infection, and the monocytes, they wait and they for help for that infection there as well. You know, so the difference between the acute leukemia and the chronic leukemia is that the 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 problem they begin at the very early stage, when I make now the blast cells them that now the one the way get for born and mature and give rise to the one the way don't mature cells like the neutrophils. So now that the blast cells them, you know, the lymphocytes. You know, and then can actually, now the other problem they can be at the very beginning. Whereas with the chronic one, now more like how we they grow now, we they begin mature from one, two, three, four, five. Now then the problem can be where we can cause them to become chronic. So this is not just a picture for showing on normal level. And I see, if you see, then put the cell then with it on top, the stem cells them. Uh, and the, at the right hand, you can see the lymphos, the lymph, lymphoid cells them, and the left hand, you see the myeloid cells them. The lymphoid, uh, as again, then they begin with the blast, and then the myeloid cells they begin with the blast. So the big one they were not mature. So then now, now then they give rise to all the other cells. As you can see, the lymphocytes then they come up from the lymphoid blast cells. Uh, the neutrophil, eosinophil, basophil, monocyte, and platelets, and the erythrocyte. Then two are the erythrocyte and the red cell where they help you for uh, your body in hemoglobin, and then of course the platelets and they help you for the clotting. All the other and then now. Apart from the eosinophil, and then they help you with your infection the way they get. So them again, then they come up from the, 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 the stem cells, the way that they blast them. So that's how they, they happen normally. But if you happen at the very beginning, inside the blast cells, then they another be the part there, and then the acute one, they come out. And if you happen later on, how will they mature, and then the chronic one, they come out. I hope so that they clear. Now, what you make then thing that can happen, I don't think say, but good people they know. We no 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 way to make this thing happen. I said the body can just decide number say I don't like this thing and that's it. One thing lead to another. You begin for grow. So well, one thing what we know is that we get risk factor then. You know. So somebody will be known get previous blood disorder, you know, like uh, in column, you know, uh, myelofibrosis, you know, with myelodysplastic syndrome, we na big big word them. All it means is that the bone marrow get problem. The spleen get problem. And so definitely it give rise to this cancer we happen now. Then so, so other one then the way you can get from the mama and papa line. So we can blame the genes then for that. You know, if you get defect on the DNA, you know, function, one sick they would then call uh, Fanconi's anemia and a special anemia, we can give rise to leukemia, you know. 
And then uh, they get some then kind, like uh, we get till and like we get blood vessel, but he didn't have the skin, you know, a taxi and all the way in the person for worker. So then the way they can see that then a risk factor, they not they see the cause them, but then a risk factor them, you know. Uh, you get um, sick then like Down syndrome, then we mama and sister them and teach them with the bone, picking them with, with you know, Down syndrome. So then they self, then prone, then, then like, the, well, I know we say then go get them, but then prone for get them more than the person who went to Down syndrome, you know. Again, older age, people know we don't get, you know, older, <laughs> we all they do that. Well, you know, we self can actually succumb to that. Think, 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 think can happen. Besides that, people, people know we don't get, uh, chemotherapy or radiotherapy for something else, then sometimes that thing they can trigger the body, and then that can cause uh, the, the, this problem where it can lead to uh, leukemia, you know. Uh, but as you can see from this, one thing we will learn is that the way we, the leukemia they present, mainly uh, due to the replacement of the normal uh, functioning of the bone marrow inside this blood they form, and then uh, the, 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 the cell that we don't die because of the attack on the leukemia, on the, on the blood cells, now it can bring about the failure of the production of normal cells. So if you get normal cells produced okay, like if they do normally, that's fine. But if you get the uh, bone marrow becoming dysfunctional, you know, they function like I for do, and then it replaced by diseased leukemic cells, then of course it could give rise to more cells Will you can make than the normal one, and then obviously that will give rise to the leukemia. I hope so. Then they clear. So, as I said, we get different different way way leukemia can present. You know, but most of the time they can come in just to feel unwell. So mine, I don't see come in. It just to feel tired. He feel you know like way he body weak, malaise. You know, he get shortness of breath. We begin working now. We begin go. They breathe fast, and because they breathe fast, so mango begin feel dizzy. In the night they turn, then so there's a mango day collapse. Now the collapse one then go bring now. When we check the blood, then we see say this person get this, you know, leukemia. So then they now because the white cells, you know, the thrombocytes and column, then less, therefore it can lead to easy bruising. In fact, uh, you can see this person in body in, in no need for like banger match and stuff. You know, you can just see the body begin bruise, you know, and go bleed from the nose. So until you pick off, you go bleed. So until you go wee, and you can bleed, you know, so until you go bleed from the back passage. And you know, they take anything like warfarin or clopidogrel or aspirin, you know. And of course, if you take that, clearly that even makes it more difficult for diagnose. But if somebody, they brush in teeth, all they take, they see bleeding, and then they bruise easily. At the same time, they feel tired. They feel short of breath, you know. Uh, then probably in need for leg get checked out. No questions about that. You know, again, if in the middle of all that, the person then develop a fever, begin feel, you know, body, they, they tremble, you know, they feel unwell, temperature, they go up, then definitely they need to be checked out in the hospital or maybe by the GP and then we see how we go from there, you know? So this thing where they call leukostasis, now one of the symptoms, then we, because of the high white cell, we would get when the, 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 the military or if you like, or the, the army of the body, where they help you for fat infection, if you go too high, it can cause the, the, this thing to actually cause headache. Then uh, so they can block the flow of the blood, so therefore it can cause stroke. And of course, if you block uh, the flow of the blood outside the eye in translation of the images they pass, then it can cause a problem for C. And of course, if you go not the lung, it can cause you know blood clot and it can cause the, the lungs then to fail. So it just goes for sure, you say, you don't get any specific symptoms, but depending on waiting, then cellular attack, because now the blood, the blood, they go for all the organs of the body. So if you affect one, uh, depending on waiting the organ that they do, now the symptom now you go feel, now the thing that, you know. Then it is the way they call tumor lysis syndrome, TLS, you know, where they happen, you know, because the, 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 the cancer cell lamp and the blood, they turn over too quickly, then they multiply too quickly. So therefore, the kidney now get chance for, you know, clear himself or pull all the positive wake up much, they get overworked and therefore the kidney will begin fail. And because it begin fail, you go see uh, the calcium, they go up, it, sorry, they go down, and then the uh, phosphate, they go up, and then the, uh, the potassium, we need help for the body, the muscle then, uh, whether they're weak or not weak. Uh, and of course, uric acid, we need can cause gout. So, if you see somebody, they get out, they tire easily, they bleed easily, 
you know, temperature and all that, then that person they need to be checked out, as you can see, you know. So it's until then they, uh, the, 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 the cancer cell them that the blood can go affect the skin, you know, and of course, you know, see, I'm just not going to the picture when you affect the skin, they get that thing they call, uh, you know, leukemia cutis. You go see under the skin when you affect that. You go see, see the gum then begins well, you know, and of course, it can affect, uh, as I say, the, the bone and the joint them. So, particularly, uh, then picking them, we then get them, you know. But then, then case then they never get the, the low white cell count. So if you look at, I say, you get for better, low white cell count, well, no, you never get some pandemic picking them because they're in a different one. Again, if you affect the vein, beside this blood, all the come out for go back, it can actually cause clot and that it can cause uh, problems. If you affect uh, down below in the bolocos, you go see and say they swell, they get pain. And of course, you know, when they check the blood, then go see them. If not the brain nine effect or the blood vessels in the brain, you will see you get uh, meningitis. But normally we can say meningitis, uh, that one we get bacteria, we uh, uh, we can cause that. But this one, you not get no bacteria. That's the thing with it. So uh, if you think they look at it, ah, you get for get bacteria. Well, sometimes they know to that. Then they call a septic one. The one we not get any kind of bacteria. But you still get meningitis because it can with the headache, it not able for look at the bright light, in next if you know. And so then they get the rash as well. Plus, it can affect the nerve them now all over the body. So when we don't talk about that, if I let we know how they investigate them at the emergency department at the ANE. So when they come to we obviously they get temperature and they feel cold, even though the place warm, you know, then they tremble. You know, so then they talk about bleeding, then get tired easily and things like that. When we suspect that, we do the first thing we do, we put a cannula. You know, that we then take for good blood, for good blood per person. Then, of course, we can check the full blood count, you know, for see whether uh, the white cells, whether they're responsible for the infection, go they low or high, you know. And so, of course, because of the, it affects the bone marrow, so then it affects all the three line them or just the two line them, we then call by cytopenia, you know. So that's it. Ap apart from the full blood count, what we do, then get the one we then call a blood fill. Now, if you suspect that, as soon as, soon as you send and go to the lab, when they look the white cells on 10, 40, 50, you know, I don't see one way at 78, then definitely the first thing you do, as long as it's above 20. So the white cells are supposed to be between four and 11. Now, if you go up to 16, with the takes this person get infection, but if you go up to 20, 22, uh, the, the lab will go ring you and tell you, say, ah, we don't do a blood fill more. Yes, and in that blood film, now then go look for this thing we then call blast. So the blast that we talked earlier on, now the immature one then, the one the way come out from the bone marrow, we know mature age, way for turn. So if you look the whole of the blood and you get more than 20% of the white cells, you know, uh, then definitely uh, uh, in the bone marrow or in the, in the blood itself, then that then go see this person possibly get acute leukemia. I repeat. If you get more than 20% of the total white cell count in either the blood within the do from the vein or then do um, like the bone marrow, then you could say this person get acute leukemia. You know, so in 10 day, you can get no blast cells at all, or maybe just a few normal in the blood. But that no means say this person not get uh, leukemia. Because if they go into the bone marrow, it likely say then go, then go find something where you actually say, well, this person get that. If you doubt anything at all, you get your friendly hematologist way now in your specialty than they now you don't bread and butter than they refer to them for make you do further investigation and I'm sure you go for help you. You know, we continue with the investigation then. So uh, you know, for just put your eye or put your heart on the fact this one and you came here, then get other sick then the way can actually give you that kind of similar way in the uh, picture there. Like that vitamin B12 with deficiency. I think we don't hear about them. So vitamin B12, the common. And then this can give you that kind of thing, that, you know, uh, because the, the, the cells then can be less. Uh, folate deficiency, then people already get uh, beta thalassemia, uh, you know, sickle cell, and um, then kind of sick, then they definitely they know. And of course, HIV, we know so it affects the blood because the virus said that it will kill all the cells and they deprive you of your military or your defense of your body. Therefore, they likely say we need to look for dentic then. So we know just say this person gets, you know, uh, 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 lymphoma or, or leukemia, but if I'm for the rule out the other one, that now I make it nice for the hematologist take over, you know. 
uh, in the bone marrow, that the way they suck it will come out. And then get two types of them to do. One with them to do with the needle, uh, and then the other one with them go open the inside the waistbone, they then get a piece of the bone and send them going to the lab for see within uh, the thing go show. But then go do that on the local anesthetic, we go numb the area for you because it's absolutely painful, you know, for, for break that bone there and got that thing to come out. Ah. So because of that, they get for normal and then they give up, give, give, give painkillers later on, you know. Uh, even if the diagnosis, you know, you get them, um, you need to make sure, say, with that a specimen where you use that sample, they will use, you get for them to decide, um, waiting at the, the stage way they, waiting at the level way they, and if you give treatment, how you expect the person to respond in terms of prognosis. So how going forward, whether the thing done bad or whether the thing they just begin to catch them right in time, to make you stop them from happening, you know, right? This is not the big one. Now, lumbar puncture, a lot of people in Santana know about this, but uh, definitely women then there amongst me, then they don't want picking waist on there, then we get for put that thing at them back, you know, epidural. When there's something similar to that, then get for put down the lane at the back, but let them suck down there for make them make sure, say, uh, this thing they did or not really, you know? Uh, now, the hematologist then can do this most of the time because they can take them go not further. You know, numb the area and put this needle and suck them out, then send them go to the lab for make the lab pro process them and read them. You know, uh, we can do all that in them that the ANE, but mainly uh, we need to exclude the uh, other diagnosis where possible apart from this leukemia. And then, of course, uh, resuscitate the patient. That means uh, stabilize them, you know, because if then they, the temperature don't go to 40, you know, then they in a day for brief or something, then they in and out of consciousness. And obviously, we need to give them the fluids. We need to give them strong antibiotics. You know, get to give them strong painkillers and bring the temperature down and get the fluids from the kidneys. Then they walk, and then the organ. Then they walk. Otherwise, the organ they all go begin fail. You know. Then of course, if fine for let we know how this clotting they take place. So if person they bleed, uh, we need to know which they cause them, whether or not the platelets are not there, or whether or not the system with the with the the blood the, the clotting now end up become a bit rogue or become malfunctional. Uh, and get this to it and call disseminated intravascular coagulation way really not dangerous thing. You know, most of the time, if you not catch this sick in time, that's what it can happen. The person end up, how you put the blood in, that's where the blood they come out. So you need to be able for, for, for clot at all. That you need for let the bleeding stop. So sometimes then you need for actually look at, maybe you need to give the person platelets. If not the platelet lay low, and that you get for need for gear. So they go go high, you know, but you get way way the diagnosis and way if you look at the blood you go see this thing we don't call D-dimer we go day high you know and of course the clotting itself would be definitely abnormal uh, and of course because you give antibiotics you finally we do what we call blood culture before you get the antibiotics because we if you get the antibiotics after uh, you do the blood culture uh, it's okay for you because that way you go avoid masking the thick. Because if you if you give the antibiotics before the blood culture, and then go check the blood culture, so they nobody show you anything. That make it fine for duam before you give the antibiotics. And the antibiotics with the give, of course, because you're not specific, you don't know who's one, you need for give what they call blood spectrum, broad spectrum antibiotics, the one where they cover boku, boku, and the bog there. Uh, uh, and of course, you better you need to give them by mouth, you need to give them through the vein, you know. And of course, this is what they call CRP, you know, C-reactive protein itself. They help you foresee how the sick day, whether it's triangle or not. And of course, you need to see how the kidney they work. You need to see how the bone they work. You need to see whether this person uh, is liable for develop gout, you know, where it can affect the kidneys, affect the bone, them, and things like that. So uh, important for let we know that. So if you suspect patient, you know, uh, gets leukemia in the A and &E department, you need to do this full blood count, the blood film, the clotting screening, and then of course you get for include uh, this fibrinogen and D diamonds for let you know whether this person likely for get down there or not. You know, um, how we manage them because we don't talk about the, the diagnosis now. We need for definitely talk about management. Now we don't get any specific way for manage. We will say that this is for do that and for do because we can do something that the first and this this patient they can can present to we, you know, and because if they present to we for the first time. We they treat them as if to say we get sepsis, you know, and the sepsis, as we know, we get for take the blood, we get for take the blood cultures, we get for do a gas, we get for do clotting, and then 
we begin to give the fluids, give antibiotics when our broad spectrum antibiotics, and then uh, bring the temperature down and get for give the fluids for make we able to get the kidneys and all the other organs that will work. You know, you go for remember, say, then people are waking with leukemia, they don't get any kind of protection of their body. Then we call it immunocompromised. So any small thing we not be for hamburg then, like for example, normally we go about with day-to-day -day life, we get the bacteria, we get the other one, them that we body, then then we skin. So they inside the gut, then the belly, but one day we will not get no problem to do that because we leave one with the other, you know, because we get to with balance at some period. Now that not the immunocompetency, what we call. But the moment this uh, this thing begins to affect the blood, then it causes to be called immunocompromised. So now the body now not get that protection there. And therefore, any kind of small sick, and most of the time, now then two organ here and nine can suffer. Down below with the urine, they can get water infection or up with the chest because then they, they breathe almost 20 times a minute. So 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 imagine that you know, 20 times are the only organ in London, the, 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 the lungs 20 times, the urine, of course, you know, will go 20 times a minute, but sometimes you will go four or five times a day. So then two organs and they are very prone to infection and then they can cause this sepsis and can cause problem for the people who get leukemia. I'm just talking now sepsis, you know, so in need for make we know say important, the number of people who really die of sepsis over a hundred years, we still talk about sepsis, people they still they die of them, you know, because from 10 day, we late for give the antibiotics. So ten and day we late for discuss with the specialties. So ten and day we late for uh, uh, treat them. So it's absolutely important for make we able to treat them people there in time for where we avoid any kind of complications. We will lead to multi organ failure and then subsequently lead to die. You know. Now of course when we treat them, we have to remember say some people and they will be not there on antibiotics. So if at all. Then we don't get antibiotics, and then two or three, then now they can get uh, what we call superimposed infection. And of course, you know, the antibiotics need to work like I suppose for work because the immune system is very weak. When we go for check with the person weighing stuff, not the specialist, but in this in field, we then call the microbiologist. So we then go for assist we, and so then you get for, get for get two, three antibiotics just for cover that number, you know. Then, of course, then people are because then they take blood from them all the time. You know, they need to get some way. Otherwise, the vein, they all go, go. especially the, the one way don't take uh, chemotherapy or radiotherapy. The vein, they all go lost. So therefore, then get away for prevent that for happening or for provide an alternative. Then put them line, you know, like you see them sometimes in the neck, uh, that color bone day, and they then can keep them, you know. Um, so uh, if they just put them, not always think, say, if this person after they don't put them, it gets a fever after that, that means, you know, now the line are responsible think about all that in them. Get a broad mind, you know, uh, uh, you know, for let you know, say not to end that number because it's easy for point to the obvious and in actual facts, something else the way they cause them. And if you ignore them, and that thing can, can, can cause problem, you see. And of course, it's important for make we know, say, we need to add the antibiotics that we will know, say, go up we, uh, and they're very reliable, likes of vancomycin and tegoplanin, so man's or tango doing a then of course you get for add the broad spectrum antibiotic for uh, to that day for making it as I said no more. You get three, four we can do at one time, you know, as uh, to day. You know, if the patient not well and you get this line, then obviously talk to the hematologist, uh, the blood uh, specialist, and then he will advise you whether for pull the line or left arm. You know, if not for pull arm, then of course he will assist you in that, you know. Uh, and then of course, then get this uh, granulocyte colony stimulating factor way. Uh, he means say something the way in another uh, cancer clone, you know, waking up. And so uh, they need the user generally, but now something we will know about, you know. So the blood clot we have been talking about, that's it, instead of now other possibility, you know. So uh, because blood clot, normally they say the D dimers can go up and then the, the clotting factors then can get uh, abnormal, it can end up with that. Uh, that, that blood clot in the lungs, in the leg, in the brain, some tendon, you know. But, 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 but remember, say, uh, the thrombocytopenia way, the, the, the means say the, the cell then small or the less, no go protect against the formation of a clot. But definitely because of that, with the cell then low, it they create a complication uh, for the clinician way they try to treat them patient. So you get for them decide, say, I need the assistance of a hematologist. And with them together and the radiologist and the x-ray specialist, uh, we can then come to a conclusion as to whether the best way for treat forward.
because you weren't going to go for three. Now, maybe we get this multiple disciplinary team meeting, the MDT. So one day, now specialty, any the other one, uh, uh, hematologist, the other one, a radiologist, you know, the other one, a medical specialist, they all will come together and decide, say, yes, indeed, we need to do this, that angle will be better for this patient, you know? So uh, when the patient will get leukemia and then it develop a blood clot, you can actually try to thin the blood by giving the blood thinner, uh, either through the vein, uh, followed by a, a, an infusion, you know, where you can, you, you get away for actually guide you. If the platelet, that not identify way they help with the clotting, if you're more than 50, then you can actually help uh, with the anticoagulation, you can actually thin the blood. If, however, the platelets are less than 50, before you uh, go put this thing where they thin the blood, where you go cause bleeding, a gyable one way, something that go cause the person for that. Remember, that DIC means the blood, I see they go in as way they come out. But mainly, if you get a platelets of 50 less, then you get to be careful with that. Now, make you need for let you get the support of a hematologist. If you more than that, and the patient not well, I, you know, and you get this, you know, the evidence say you get a blood clot, then of course you can go ahead and do that. But as I say, for player safe, it's important for make you get the hematologist on your side to make one able for go. You know, this tumor lysis syndrome, the TLS, we don't talk about that. Mainly uh, the treatment of um, the, the medical, you know, as a supportive treatment, you manage which you can. If the person dehydrated, you give them, um, you know, fluids. If the person gets high uh, potassium, you give us something for bring the potassium down. And, and that's all you can do. Uh, you know, and of course, until then they can get that treatment called renal replacement therapy. We now we can do based on the advice from the medical team and of course the hematologist. Uh, this APMA, acute promyelinitic uh, leukemia, and a specific one, you know, as I said, we can talk about three, this is not the one, we not the fourth one, we, we never get to the number, but in your own, the characteristic uh, feature of them is that uh, it can lead to death very, very quickly. You know, so important for make you get the hematologist on we side and as quickly as possible. You know, the the diagnosis normally then go make them when they look at the blood film and that then go for tell you say that this not this specific one and of course, you know, uh, you get for give them the therapy, the specific therapy where you go give them even if not next then come. You need for ask for that treatment before again because that's the only thing that will go help them and that will save them. You know, yeah. So another one where we look at is leukostasis. You know, the patient that will get high white cell count, more than seventy-five. Like I'm telling the number, the last one where we see now about ninety. Now you get, you know, then get for assess them. So mainly, then people then they can come with problems with their lungs for breathe, or they get clot or they can get a brain problem where it can lead to a stroke, you know. So most of the time people and they underestimate the dentia. Yeah. Now I think it's important for make immediately you see them and it's suspect them. Now for call the hematologist, the medical team, and they can do other side, but the moment they remember that, they can always come to you and help you. So as you can see, we don't get any specific for treat them, but if somebody come, he gets problems with the chest and we think this until you get a stroke, and I want you to look for, you know. If you get problems with the eye, you know, and then you end up, you look like, say, you get a stroke, then of course, again, we get for do that. You know, if you end up with the clutch in chest, you get chest pain, we need uh, for, for definitely uh, think about a heart attack. We again, now the, now the, now the facts say the blood clot, now can cause that pan the veins where they surround the heart. You know, of course, the bowel, the gut, who say uh, the, 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 the blood they pass because the blood can flow and it gets a blood clot, that itself can cause the bowel for, for die. Then they cause belly heart so that uh, they get to go operate pan. And when they go, go open and they go see the bowel, all don't begin die. That's no other way we can present. And of course, if you have the leg, when I go on your way, they say the person in leg cold, he, 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 he painful, and he really feel like a feel him. You know, you get like the um, pins and needles, you know, that kind of thing. So he pulseless. You know, a painful, a pale, a cold, and of course, enable for move Then they taste it, this person gets a clot in the artery, uh, and therefore, he need for be sorted out and get for getting blood thin straight away for save the leg. Otherwise, it's possible to say, you're not going to be able to save the leg, and then they get for amputate the leg, then get for cut off the mouth. If you affect the kidney, as you can see, it can cause the kidney for begin uh, fail, and then they now can cause problem where the person can end up needing dialysis and all that. Do you know? 
But remember, we self can give chemotherapy. If at all we train for that, we can do that. Or uh, they can send and go to the specialist center, then we then can get for do that, really. But this particular way we then can treat them, this leukophoresis, now for try to pull the white cells from the body, because if the white cells then small, you never get much for, but if they boku, you get for full some, so that at least you never cause more damage. And that's now one of the way we then can treat them uh, as an emergency. So this now just as I've been saying, I promise you now, and the picture of this, if you watch now the left hand, you go see, now so it look like when you affect uh, the person, the leukemia, cuties, now in that, now so it look like. Look at the aid, you will see for yourself. You know, nice for look at, but that's what it is. So if you get somebody who know well, and then you begin for development, you have a clear you need to think about that. You get anemia as well. As I say, the person can end up, because the bone marrow can get suppressed by these cells, it can cause anemia. Again, uh, chemotherapy or radiotherapy can cause that as well. You know, if the anemia are too bad, well, to win IR, if he less than 7 or 70, depending on which one you use, uh, so then you can just give a simple transfusion. So then two units at a time for see how they go up. If you're more than 70, then you can watch and see what's in there, you know. But so then they, after chemotherapy or bone marrow transplant, you need to get this special blood then called irradiated blood. If in doubt, it better for make you uh, talk to your hematologist that they will for guide you, you know. Then get this uh, cytomegalovirus, what we all know about. Now, virus we can cause problem for we, uh, so then they, you can need them, but most of the time, they never need them. But that is the hematologist then go help you for see what you need, really. So that brings me to the conclusion now. You see, we all they look and say, well, let people have to do this and do that for it. But it's important for me to know, say, we as any clinician, then, we face a big, big task because until then, day, we know able to see who's one at the AML, who's one at the ALL, then they overlap. And you know, we don't get anything specific. What would they use? Pass the fact, say this person can he get fever, if they feel unwell, you know, bone than the heart, muscle than the heart, if they bruise easily and they feel really tired. Now, of course, you will consider that. But remember, we get other sick that we know, like vitamin B12 deficiency, folate deficiency, Fanconi's anemia, they all day. You know, uh, we know able for rule out leukemia because we didn't do. If you do the blood film, uh, the blast cells, they what they talk about, no did they? Now the hematologist no more go for help with it because on ten they they not did they. If now the blood where they look now the now the pain, so they no go see them. But then if they look now the bone marrow, then go see them. You know. And if you get somebody with fever, not just think say oh now leukemia. Oh. Of course we get what that causes them. We can cause that. You know. Therefore we need or say I tell you what, if this person come. But well, we don't get no way for this whether than leukemia or other sick way can cause that. Then we can say, well, okay, let me start with this because the treatment are the same anyway. Take the blood, take the cultures, give them something for bring the temperature down, give them something for get the fluids for hydrate them, give them the antibiotics after you don't take the cultures. And of course, dip the urine. If you need to be, you get for do a chest x ray just for see whether anything in the chest or not. And again, depending on what you can get, if the chest then can't wait until you need to do an ECG, until you get for do for find out if the person will get a heart attack. If you come and you feel like say you get a stroke, obviously you get to do a CT scan of the brain. All that they go help you or make you able to forget uh, for come to a conclusion. Of course, the, the, the moment you see the blood film more than 25 and then taste it, they see something uh, way similar to blast cells or not, you need for think about your friendly hematologist, you know, and then then go for help you for let you able to forget things proper and save them people here before uh, they end in a, that miserable way there, you know. Uh, the fact is, some people then go don't get treatment before. So Monday, go don't get the diagnosis. They come to you, you know. That no means they because they don't get multiple treatments like chemotherapy, six sessions or seven sessions. It means when they come to you at this particular point in time, it means the treatment they work or it don't fail or the, the disease they go forward, they get worse. You know what I mean? So it just means it's something that superimposed infection because you know the person you know, they respond or maybe. Uh, a possible thing that just an infection we bad and you don't get the army for protect and therefore it get bad panic. you know as i say we talk about uh, the alternatives for look at when when then tia happen you know so important thing we can just generalize and stereotype people and say they come with this now this would they give them uh, and if not to that we need them for proceed as we're supposed to proceed so these now mean references them who are used if not interested but this I just for telling you, I thank you and different, different languages. Then. And uh, over to now. Thank you so much.
Okay, thank you very much, Dr. Kamar. Um, I'll guess. I'm sure everybody go appreciate what you don't do. So we found Bulemon, I don't hear you, but um, this blood cancer and the, the problems and way it can be and how it come about and how they will be able to manage them. Now we do over to Una for Una to come up with questions and become sure Boku Boku will ask a lot of questions. Um, for me, I know lie, I've been hearing this name before until it gets closer to home. Now I begin to develop my understanding. In this session, don't help me for that broad and the understanding there. And um, then tear that in the way they happen, and not to say it happen no more to one set of people, it can happen to anybody, believe me. Um, until it can't close to home, then you understand. But thank you very much, um, Dr. Kamal. So, anybody they will ask any question? Okay, so see you again. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Um, thank you, Dr. Kamara, um, for the for the information. Wait, the question I want to ask, um, I know most of the time, they change this part of the world, where then they do them, them presentation, yeah? Now white people embody, now they can show more, okay? So now you talk about, um, say, the person will get sports and stuff, or the, the blood, the, 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 like the wet man, so now you go going to see the, the situation, but for black people and because the skin so dark, how you go able for for show for say na na leukemia the person get if na black if if it's if it's if in skin black uh, if it's in skin dark, I they try for think about Africa where people them um, where them go see them things then they how them go able for understand for say na something na, na something don't wrong with them as I said, the black the white man I you see and straight away, but the black man because the skin dark is very difficult. Now for just normal people to understand for say for waiting for look out for. Yeah, thank you very much, mommy, uh, for that question. Now, uh, if you remember, I talk about the gum them bleed. Mm. That now one thing. A young man, they feel tired, feel unwell. The gum them bleed. They go brushing teeth. They bleed. You understand? He cut himself. He bleed more than he's supposed to bleed. You know. And of course, although we get dark skin, but I tell you, when you bruise, you, you can see I'm one way or the other. It might not be as clear as the witman you but you can see I'm definitely. So not to just one symptom no more. You know what I mean? For bleed, uh, you, they bleed from different different uh, parts of the body, especially with uh, the, 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 that's what they call mucosa, the lining there. You understand? It can be nosebleed. So repeat nosebleed. I don't see nosebleed cause somebody gets anemia. You know what I mean? So if somebody can get a current nosebleed, you just say that they feel tired, I get short of breath, right? And this is a person with an athlete. It's supposed to be fit. All of a sudden, begin tired, begin, you know, uh, feel really unwell. Boom, then they act like where you get, you know, get a flu or something. But at the same time, you brush into the bleed, uh, the bleed from your nose recurrently. Clearly, a nice for you go get checked out because, you know, although you can get uh, the electrodependencies into now with the pollen count to go up, you know, we get this uh, allergic rhinitis, you know, hay fever. So mango sneeze, of course, you go bleed. But you bleed one term, two term, that's one thing. But if you bleed, all the time from the nose, clearly you start going to say, ah, what you, what did happen there? Make I go check. You know what I mean? And of course, you then, when you take the history, you get to find out whether this person there on anything with a thin in blood. For example, somebody will get aspirin, go, go bruise easily. Somebody will get clopidogrel, go, go bruise easily. Somebody will get warfarin, definitely go bruise. So, so in the country, we, uh, we then go pass water in our blood. You know what I mean? So what do we go for do now for stop the, the tablet because we get something for whole. But if you don't get no no source, well, clearly you need to find out why this thing happened. And I guarantee you, if you do the blood test in time, you could see that. Because the moment they see that, they see the blood cells, then they may be beyond, above 20, they could do a blood film. And if they do the blood film, they could begin to just say, ah, if this person knows to a hematologist because that is that is you suspect. So I don't know whether that helps you or not. Yeah. But that, well, that you yeah. actually should have done that when the, the cells that affect the skin, and then call that leukemia cutis. That's what you keep yeah. Saying. On the skin, but the bruise yeah. thing definitely not not not, not too eager for be alarmed about. You know, if you yeah. know they bruise one day, but all of a sudden they begin bruise now. You know, you know they're on aspirin, you know they're on any of those. Mm. You know, the nose bleed, you the pass water, na blood, you go toilet, na blood. You know, uh, you eye, they get blood shot and things. Any other way, mucosa, they no bleed. You know, yeah, they yeah. Bleed. Then obviously, that's mm. something you need to consider. You know, you know, means mm. that that night, but you better off tell the person to go checked out to checked out because of this because it likely say. We could miss that. You know what I mean? And mm. then take it from there, really. Yeah. Mm. So I don't know if that helped. 
Yeah, it, uh, thank you. Um, it's not mostly because for me, I think for Africa, the, the situation they will they not get all of this technology and it's difficult for like um, the doctor them, even if they know how for it's difficult for like them get for able for do a diagnosis unless an experienced experienced doctor maybe or physician and go able for i suppose could they go able for do something you know and for yeah. for the no, for the no, people yeah. themselves for they think about the people themselves for like they understand no more for say you know uh, the the emergency of it all for go hospital not for sit they think say yeah. oh yeah. now nah for wait or not nah this now nah do them do them they shall when they see that the, whether blood they come at the front, the way they get them spots, then they, yeah. you know, think say, oh, now, nah, now nah beat them bitter, now nah which beat, now nah them beat them, now nah forgot to straight away because well, even, even that's the only. Because, yeah, now like the educational, now nah we get from yes. actually. So now that one day, yes. You know, we need to yes. educate the people and for make them. Yes. Go you know, oh, now nah, to Pabuna, the corner, hmm. the Lago Sibadis, Rabenga, or Shekutu, hmm. whatever. You know, this is something. <laughs> When it begin, obviously, as I say, if the bad one in a, within a few weeks, the person will die. But I guarantee you, even if we don't get hematologists in the salon, mm. uh, we get lab them. And the lab, I think Dr. Turek will bear me witness uh, because he knows. Be. Clearly, the lab, the general thing for everybody, if he yeah. white cells be more than 20, then go do how for do a blood film, and I'm sure they go for that. Now, it might mm. not mean that you go get the treatment, but I know, say, in neighboring countries and other places, you yeah. definitely could get. If you catch them in time, Mm. You know, you get a good, very good chance of getting something out of it. Obviously, if you don't, you know, take over and then it begins causing you complications, then, then it becomes a bit of a difficult. We now that we need for teaching people. Like, yeah. They change, they change that narrative, make them get educated. But say, I tell you what, we need for things, say, if I know be the bleed, I know be the bruise. Yeah. yeah. Now, this they happen. Why they happen? If I know mm. anything we for mm. cause that, la go go check out. Not of yeah. Google begin past to Babu at the corner. Mm. You know, it mm. doesn't work. You know, no. so now yeah, we're fighting yeah. people. Like, and I make yeah. decide to make we do them program. Yeah, make them yeah. know exactly. How yes. Well, yeah. well, for me, at that point, then I make I ask the question. So thank you for that. Thank you for yes. that. Yes. Yeah. So that people don't go. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Thank, thank you. Thank you very much, Auntie Uge. And the next person we'll get now, see? Yeah, Una, Mr. Kama, good evening. Yeah, um, yeah. If the person don't do the treatment, they don't do the treatment, they don't go everything. It gets specific food way for the eats, or it gets specific diets. Now, I mean, like diets waiting for the eats or waiting not for eats. Um, that's a very good question, but I don't, I don't know whether there's anything specific where you go say for eat not for eat. You know, obviously, you know everything within normal is important. Now, if you get anemia, obviously. Uh, you need for probably get you, you get a bit more as say richer in 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 iron. You know what I mean? Like red meat, they say. Although we don't for eat too much of them, um, you know, liver, they say for liver and things like that. Uh, so probably the best person for do that for you is the hematologist together with the dietitian. You know, but we in ANE will not come across that in, the, in terms of food. Maybe the GP themselves can support that, but we not get any dealings with the feed. Uh, or the diet. Uh, as far as I know, if you're anemic, obviously you need to be, you know, looking into that. Most importantly, now forget the balanced diet. More veggies, you know, uh, more fruits, uh, and less of the unhealthy one. And you know, you should get better. You know, as far as I know, maybe uh, dog win a GP or you know. Yeah, we just want to go to get <laughs> anemic or something. But uh, <laughs> you know. Okay, Doctor, you want to do any more? Light on this? Uh, I think say, Dr. Kamado answer well that we, we, from all the discussion and explanation, you don't give, you know, say this na hematological, na blood something. So the all the, all the other things are just supportive treatment, you know, the anemia and all anything. So just get a good, healthy diet. I mean, talk mm -hmm. about uh, vitamin B12 uh, deficiency and all anything. So if then deficient, you get for replace them. You know, and um, um, uh, vitamin A at times sometimes can help in, in some way. So you just get a good, healthy diet. And, and every day on any medication, the way they reduce your immunity, you know, um, if, if, if now hospital prescribe them, yeah, you can take them. But if, if not, for just take any kind of medication, no more, therefore be careful because your immunity is not as strong as the other person. Uh, but it's just having healthy, healthy diet. Basically, it's, it's, there's nothing in, in untoward really. 
Thank you. Um, and if I just in case you want to add anything, please let me know. Another question I want to ask, um, are they come to now, um, Anne? Another question I want to ask is when it comes to um picking them, we don't get this, or even big possible don't get the, the, this kind of sickness. Um, they don't well. You got advice them for whether they involve in say um sports activities, you know, vigorous exercise and stuff like that. Within I mean, if you if if you go into remission because you get relapse and remission, of course, when you go into relapse, obviously that means you begin afresh. But you go into remission, I wouldn't have thought there's anything that will go stop you for for be, uh, you know, active in any way where your body will allow you. I don't think there should be anything that will stop you in doing that, because when you're in remission, that means, you know, this thing don't quieten down. Now, whether you well completely now for good or not, is another thing altogether. But I know that they can check them probably six monthly or annually, you know. But I wouldn't have thought somebody where and uh, picking they grow you go actually say make you no go involved in that obviously if they get the symptoms like for example they don't go now you don't know say you get and then you begin get temperature and things and all that that's a different thing altogether but other than that when you're in remission yeah you get a life full of you know verve ahead of you and you can do anything you want really okay and on to you next Hello, Anne? Hello, can you hear Hello. me? Yes, now we can hear you. Hello, oh, look at that. <laughs> Hello, Dr. Kamara. That Hello, was Reed. how are you? The question I want to ask you is about the lumbar punches, because I've had a few. Right. What do they actually look for? All right, well, the, the lumbar puncture, uh, as you may well know, is, is something that would help in establishing the diagnosis for you. So, so first of all, you've got to make sure this person hasn't got a raised intracranial pressure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And so that's why, you, that's why you need to do the scan because the scan would help you in uh, establishing that, in confirming that there's, because one thing you don't want is someone with a raised intracranial pressure, you then do the puncturing in the lower back and that pressure just goes roof. The next thing you realize, uh, uh, this, the brain sinks into that big hole which we call, you know, foramen magnum, and then it causes problems with the breathing and then you lose the person. So to avoid that, you need to have the scan and the scan confirms whether you've got that or not. Only with that in mind, with then, you know, with, with you get the, the clear leeway, if you like, or, you know, to actually get that lumbar puncture. And with the lumbar puncture, there's certain things they look for. Sometimes they look for the sugar in the cases of, you know, diabetes and uh, not diabetes, uh, meningitis, you know. But in this case, obviously they take that, that, that um, aspirate, which you get from there, put it in a, a container or something or put it on the particular dish and send it to the lab for them to actually process it and get to know what exactly is causing. They may well see blood cells. They may well see the um, uh, complications in terms of um, or superimposed uh, bugs that are in there and the rest of it. And of course, they could see whether there's blood or whether it's just plain uh, cerebral uh, spinal fluid that is washing there. So there's a lot of things you can get from that, but most importantly, you need to make sure that pressure is not raised too high in 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 the in the in the brain. Therefore, uh, you could do that safely. But mainly, it's just to help you with the diagnosis in order for you to be able to uh, format a plan going forward. That is something we don't do mainly in the emergency department, as you may have well have known. It's more yeah. to do with either the ward or maybe in theatre. Uh, by the hematologist or maybe the medical team. Uh, they're yeah. the ones that take that. We, uh, most of the time, stabilize the patients where the, when, when they're in a bad way. You know, they're really unwell. They're about going in and out of consciousness. And so therefore, we then stabilize them, you know, reduce the temperature, uh, give them the fluids they need, uh, give them the appropriate antibiotics they need. And if they've got any clots anywhere, see whether we need to be able to uh, pin the blood or thrombolyze it. You know what I mean? And, and that's why we'll probably need the scan of the brain or the scan of the chest, you know, uh, to see whether we need that. Because if we can do that safely, we can start it in the a &E department. But the lumbar puncture is something that we don't normally undertake because it has to be done under sterile condition. Yeah. 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 So if, if I may just add to what Dr. Kramar has just uh, said, uh, with these immature cells being formed in the, uh, the bone marrow, uh, they may overwhelm the bone marrow and then move to the blood cell to the uh, um, blood circulation, and they can 
overwhelmed the whole blood circulation again, just as he was showing the pictures. And then they spread sometimes to the spinal cord and brain. So the CSF part of it as well, uh, as just as Dr. Kma explained, is to ensure that there are no metastatic cells in the CSF. So when they take them to the lab, in addition to looking for all the other things, they look for metastasis, because when these cells go to the brain, they have their own other complications and stuff that, that can happen. So all that, that all part of what they, they're doing and, and to take to the lab to, to check whether their metastasis in there. I think that's all part of the reason, I think. Thank you. Can, Dr. Kamara, they didn't give me a scan before they did my lumbar punches. <laughs> he, he can ask them. <laughs> I've all that's not the best of it. The first doctor that did it in the hospital. The first doctor that's the cat out of the back. <laughs> <laughs> well, I must admit they, they're brave people. I don't know. They must have had a, their rationale for doing that. But I know for certain that you are new. If I even. A single case yes. of um, someone yes. coming with a stroke, for example, yeah, yes. and uh, maybe it's like mini stroke or something like that, yeah. You well advise not to commence them on aspirin before you scan them, because if it happens that they've bled, and you're going to give them aspirin and you're giving 300, well, clearly yes. you're asking for trouble. They will bleed more, and that will cause yes. more problems. So therefore, the guidelines are clear. You need to scan this person. Uh, before you start that. Now, obviously, there are exceptions when maybe uh, the delay in scanning might cause more problems, and therefore you'd have to, you know, uh, sort of weigh the benefits versus the risks of doing it. But on, yeah. on, as I say, generally, you'd expect someone to have done a scan before they start doing an LP. Yeah, that, that, that's the ideal. That's yeah. the ideal situation. And <laughs> the other thing is, the first doctor that did my lumbar puncture. I lost all the use of my body. Right, right. Yes, uh, thank you for sharing that. You, you lost what? I lost, I lost the use of my legs and everything. Yeah. Was oh, that yeah. was that on a temporary basis? Yes. Well, that's Look what it does. That's what when you have the, what do you call it now? You know the the epidural. Yeah. Like so, people who are having hip replacements or knee replacements or something like that, or people, yeah. women in labour. That's the essence of doing it. Now, whether right. that could be a complication as well, but of course it's right. just transient. Now, you know, yeah. it's something that happens because they're going into that particular spot, you know, that area where uh, the nerves run. As I say, the spinal cord runs from where this big hole is under the head to the second, yeah. uh, you know, bone in the lower lumbar, lower back. So the L2, that's where it finishes. And uh, yeah. they aim to get something below that. But there are times when, you might not uh, get that properly, and so you end up. But these are all things they'll have to explain to you. They'll have to consent, you know, to awesome. say, well, these may be complications that can occur, and so therefore we can't guarantee that you know this won't happen. However, if they do happen, well, you're in the best place. But you need to know that this may well happen. But they didn't tell me that. Oh boy, mm -hmm. you keep putting me on. <laughs> 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 they, they should have done that. They should definitely consent you, and in consent, if you look at that big yellow form, you would see yeah. that the person who is consenting you should be somebody who is very uh, versed, very au fait with the procedure that they want you to consent to. And so therefore, yeah. they will tell you the benefits, but they definitely uh, legally duty bound to definitely tell you about the complications or possible complications. I mean, I'm going back quite a few years ah, well. when I have this yeah, done. Well. I mean, yeah, yeah. This is, cool. Now you're in a better place to ask them all the exactly. questions. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> an ideal situation it occur. <laughs> <laughs> Thank great. you, Dr. Kamara. Thank you so much. Thank you very much wow, look at that friend yeah. of yours. My, my. <laughs> <laughs> <No>. <laughs> it's been Boy, on the beach. Right. Have you? Uh, right. Well, uh, you, you have have you have yourself. Yes, I'm you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, now move to um, Jerry Russell. Jerry, is it Jerry or Jerry? Yeah, Jerry, yeah. Jerry, yes. Hi, hi, everybody. Hello. Hi, Dr. Kamara. Um, Hello, how are you? Just, Thank you so um, much for joining us. Oh, that's 
Okay, this is very close to my heart, and yeah. Um, yeah. because we don't actually um, think about it as well as we should do, because being Africans, we don't think about um, antipsychotropic medications that some of our kids that are born here are placed on if they have um, mental issues. And it's a differential diagnosis that I've seen so many times that they come in leukopenic, people on risperidone, apiprazole, and the serotonin syndrome that can cause the um, decrease in white blood cells. In the ED, you guys may not be able to see it as frequently as we do, but what should we do to make sure that differential diagnosis is actually attached to the patient before they come to the floor and we would not miss anything? That's a very good point you make. I'm so pleased you joined us because from your perspective in the ITU, um, definitely it's something to take on board. Now, uh, clearly we can only deal with it as uh, emergency physician, so in a way mm -hmm. stabilize them. But one point you make is that, you know, this serotonin syndrome and this cytopenia and all that. Uh, I think right. it's important to remember that if at all there are guidelines, you know, that are cascaded to the EDs, uh, the physicians should toe the line. It's as simple as that. We need to be compliant. There's no questions about that. Otherwise, we'll be, you know, held to ransom or not held ransom, we'll be uh, culpable. It's as simple as that. So, so it's important to probably get some teaching sessions. That's what I think. Uh, organized from the ITU, you know, to ourselves with a view to pointing out this possibility uh, of a side effect undesirable, especially when they're coming exactly. towards you. You know, I think that is a good point you make and we take that, we welcome that and as something that we would actually want people to know about. So maybe and that's another session we'll have to think about, you know, to incorporate. That's another session you should have to think about because we've seen, I've seen a lot of patients come in. They are on these drugs, then they are leukopenic, but yet still somebody is trying to minimize it. And the differential diagnosis should be on top rather than be minimized because yeah. when they get into the point where they start bleeding, then people, you, you have hematology come and look, oh my God, there was psychotropic medication, then respiratory and a preposol. And at the time, we would be able to stop the bleeding, but then yet still, we are not going to be able to give them vitamin K to stop it. Yeah, so. yeah, I agree. And as I say, that's why it's important to uh, practice preventative medicine rather than attempt uh, to have a go at curative medicine when we know uh, there's no guarantees that what you're giving would actually, you know, affect the cure that you're looking for. I don't know if anybody feel else a lot of GI that. bleeds, a lot yeah. of um, anal bleeding with this serotonin syndrome because they yeah. depress serotonin and depress D3 and 4. So the psychotropic meds are causing a lot of bleeding. Yeah. That's my point. Thank yeah, you. No, no, thank you for that. That's a really valid point and we take that on board. I think it's something uh, we would have to consider in terms of you know presentation and things because although it's medical, uh, if you like, you know, uh, maybe complication of, of what we're given, but we can look at it from a perspective of uh, the side effects, undesirable side effects of the drug. Exactly. So maybe that might be a session. If you're happy with that, maybe you can join and present for us. Because <laughs> no, as Africans, we don't pay attention to these mental um, issues. No. And our kids are placed on these drugs, but yet still the parents don't understand what the side effects are. Yeah, yeah. You know? And that's why it's important for us to, you know, bear this in mind in terms of changing the narrative, educating, educating, educating our people, uh, especially the, the medics there to know that, look, the, 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 the drugs you actually, or the medication you are uh, prescribing do have side effects. Even here, a lot of the doctors do not actually go through the side effects, you know. Uh, I've seen right. a simple drug or medication like the statins, the statin. I met a yeah. patient who said, yep. I tell you what, I'd rather die than take a, a tumor starting. And I said, why? Because because muscle pain, spasm, yeah. The pain I have is absolutely unbearable. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'd rather die. And I was like, what? So, so, so it just tells you how profound this patient felt, how this, this, this pain really affected them. And what we did then was to write to the GP to strongly consider changing it to something else that would suit this man. And once that was done, this man was as right as rain. Because most of the patients that come in and had stroke, they have, I mean, later on been diagnosed with depression and they are placed on these drugs. And yet still when they come, they come with bleeding and you were like, what yeah. is going on here? Yeah, yeah. Is it the hypertensive medications that are on or the anti-psychotropic medications that are yeah. on? So it's your catch 22. Uh, yeah. Right in the middle, you don't know what to do, where to go, but you guys should do a better job in the ED.
we're always fighting. But it's good. It's good. <laughs> at least I say we can assemble a team. You know, get the mental health, you know, team together with the ED. Exactly. And get the, the pharmacologist yeah. or the pharmacist and things, and then come right. together with the IT. Exactly. You know, quadrangulate it and then you know talk about it and deal with it people to, to actually look into that be mindful of what they're prescribing and of course when these they do uh, occur we need to then think about how we can actually uh, i think i think that. um with the with the uh, psychotropic medications mostly when they initiate them or with the secondary care of the psychiatrist the usually tell the patients in, in, uh, in cognizance with the GP to have uh, routine checks. Yeah. So some of these patients don't comply to that right. uh, until they really become so unwell and they find themselves in any. So they should be having at least three monthly until they are stabilized and then they have six monthly, you know, an annual check with these medications. And then they do have... Uh, um, coordinated care with the psychiatrist and see if their platelets and all those things are going up and about the place, the white cells going up and about the place, they know right. whether they should change that uh, or not. And then even the simple antidepressant medications, once they started mm -hmm. them, they give them two weeks based on age, if you're less than 30 or, 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 or a month, if you're more than 30, to have that first review, and then sometimes they do check bloods and so, so they routinely do it, but not all patients are compliant when it comes to that. And unfortunately, you guys have to deal with them when they get there. Exactly, <laughs> it, it is true and we, have, we get them a lot. Because yeah. The eating <laughs> usually push them to us, you go take care of it. Yeah. You know, they, they just want to wash point. them out. Yeah, it makes a valid point whereby sometimes, you know, non-compliance may lead to such disastrous, you know, may lead to that, uh, but yet uh, still, I think, then, yeah. yeah, it's true. Psychiatrists really have to do a better job of diagnosing the psychotropic meds for yes. people who yeah. have strokes or somebody who's just feeling down, a personality Indeed. disorder, being and I, uh, um, in, in a depressive state. I can be depressed, but don't put me on medication. <laughs> <laughs> the the the, the, the psychiatrist when you when you come to those respiridone and the rest the therapy, exactly it, it's the psychiatrist according to the uh, uh gmmg uh, you know guidelines is the psychiatrist should start that not 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 from no, the primary you, care right, right. Uh, the primary care can only start ssri snri yeah. and um, that's right. what they do they start the ssri and yet still like you said these patients are non-compliant yes. with going through um their the checks and three monthly checks, or yeah, checks and yeah. things like that so yeah. they come in in this bleeding um, state and you try to figure out exactly what is going on so you dig a lot mm -hmm. to get a differential diagnosis to pinpoint on something yeah yeah Super. So, so which is why these programs are around you know so that people can be educated they know yeah what to do, they know the medications they've been given, they're not just giving them for fun. They have side effects that they should really look into, you know, and you do have some sensible patient before they take any medication, despite what you said, they go through the leaflet, they read through the leaflet, if they have any doubts, they do call, you know, for more verification, you see. So, so patients differ, but in, in our community, people, don't, I, I don't know, people don't give that much uh, premium yeah, health, even <laughs> programs like this, it's just, you just tune in and, and then I, listen, I, yeah. <laughs> how many people it do that, <laughs> you see, so, 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 so that's, that's the problem, you see, and they only wait till to the last minute when there's very little to do to salvage situation, yeah. you see, so that, yeah. that's why this program is about. Indeed. Yeah. I, I applaud you guys. I really applaud you Thank guys. You like so the, um, the, the previous um, lady you said input. about <laughs> about petechiae on the black uh, um, skin. Yeah. I mean, that's a, a, a precursor of something was going in, but somebody very dark like me would come in with petechiae. But usually the other thing that I want to bring into um, perspective is actually getting a physical examination done on patients like this, especially for us who are really so shy in exposing ourselves. So it's very, very difficult. And we should drive this point in our community that 
when you go to the doctor, make sure they check you and check you from head to toe. Not in order for shame back. Ah, so the good it is. is true. <laughs> I mean, just one <laughs> seven doctor to me, they struggle for say what I don't pass Gary and I go speak to. He is struggle for say I'm in English. We are the human talk. If I don't say what I don't pass Gary, let more understand. Um, what you would do, um, 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 Jerry, I'm yeah. sure I'm going to be in touch. Um, if you're interested for present to we even ask again. Me not me not the side chick. Eh. Oh. Yes, and, 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 and you have to know that. So don't worry about that. Me, 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 you must not reach that far. So I'm uh, you, you boss. One last question on the um, When it comes to the caring of patients then with leukemia, um, does age count? I.e., is there a certain threshold where you say, for example, the kind of baby, they start a better chance for recover? or respond to treatment compared to people that way don't over 30 or over 60 or so, you know, what's the... Yeah, but I mean, if you look, if you listen to the presentation, maybe go back to them, age now one factor, you know. Obviously, the vast majority of people that wake up from this thing, obviously, that people that way don't, uh, maybe don't pass 50, 60, something like that, you know, in their 70s. Obviously, that not me say the picking that's definitely so far, but if you compare, then definitely that the older group more prone to that in comparison mm -hmm. to the picking them, really, yeah. And, and the likelihood of response, you know, in terms of treatment and all that, uh, the picking the stand, obviously, a better chance uh, compared to if we not, 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 not the older person. Again, it depends on at the stage. Again, on the it depends on the type. If not the you know chronic one, that's one thing. If not the acute one, that's another thing altogether. But again, the complications and of course that's what we call pre-morbid state. You know, the state of the person in health before this thing come to, you know, to 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 the fore. That's another thing for for consider, you know. But it's a multifactorial thing, you know. But mainly, uh, age obviously not a factor. The older you are, the more likely to say that in the group. Yeah. Okay. I will take Auntie C in question as the last one. Then I will thank everybody for today. Auntie C. Yeah. Auntie C. Oh yes. Sorry again, Mister Kama. I will ask one last question. If the person don't will. Okay, don't get all the clear after, oh. let's say five years or six years, there's a chance say it can return, the cancer can return. Yeah, I mean, don't answer that question. I think uh, TMB asked that same question there. I mean, when you're in remission, right now that, mm -hmm. that thing you refer to, you know, you're in remission. No, However, the person don't done completely the treatment after after six years. Yeah. They don't yeah. Don't that, do. Now they say, yeah, that now we're in remission, you know, now whether you go well <laughs> completely or not, that's one thing I don't know. Maybe the hematologist then will help you for that. But as I said, they will keep you on the book, you know, for check you on maybe six monthly or annual basis and things like that. Because one thing you don't want, you know, for this thing go back into relapse, you know, then it keeps you unawares, you know, unexpectedly come to an IMAC, they can keep you in the books and do then, then check you, you know, twice annually or maybe once annually or something like that. But it's always important for bear that in mind. And I think so they can tell you that if you begin feeling any symptoms per se, please, please, please. The earlier, the better. Come back to me. But if you're in remission, I don't think say, that actually means that you don't well completely. You can be in remission for five years, ten years, fifteen years, and then something one fine day without you expecting it, it just come back. You know. So, so that's the thing for bear in mind, really. But obviously, the more, the longer you're in remission, the better it is for you because clearly, uh, you get an added year to your life. You know, ways until you don't forget if at all you don't get the treatment. I don't know if that they uh, help you in any way. Thank you very much, Dr. Kama. Um, waiting that the takeaway from this today for me is that one, we don't understand which are the signs and the symptoms then we can cause them here. Yes, some of them they will not so obvious, but when you feel something, if you don't care for Twitter that also, you know, sometimes they will feel a light headache no more. Then for Twitter, you say the persistent, it no cost compared to the money where you go lost if you're not there alive. That's more money you go take, you go see doctor. Might be the difference between you there alive for see many more Christmas and eat boku boku chicken than for left <laughs> very early. Another thing, where you don't go see doctor, when they give medication, you like it, they feel better. If they say take this amount of dose, do ya na for take them. If you feel say okay, this is not a work for you, before you stop for take them, go back to your doctor, explain to him, waiting at the side effects the way they get. I I they make you feel. Let them see whether there is another option where they will give you. Furthermore, when they say check up, 
That check up is more important past that money where they go for it. More important that party where they go for. No matter how tired it be, make and be point of duty. We get a point when turn up, get yourself checked. Like I said, it might be the difference between you kicking the book Italy of all the day around, stay longer and continue for eat Boku chicken. So with the car round up for today, um, Auntie Jerry, like I said, um, the contribution we get today, we really appreciate them and I hope say we go see you at at some point where you go present a session to me. We I believe see because even the five minutes where you get, you know, it was very interactive, very helpful. So I can go around the team now for let people and say um, thank you and goodbye. Um, Auntie Jack, if you want to say something else, please raise your hand. Then I go make yourself say goodbye to people. Them. So I will go to Auntie Fatima. Please, please do that, I'm sorry. Sorry for interrupt. Um, two things. I had a big announcement for make to everybody. We do some congratulations. I don't know if the person day with me or not. I'm an Aussie, I'm an Aussie. I'm an Aussie, I'm an Aussie. I'm an Aussie. But you don't see in the shape, so maybe. <laughs> maybe in the shape, that's right. But we don't get another doctor. You know, a massive congratulations to Dr. Rashid Ponte. Hey. You know, yes, you don't pass the exams, and <laughs> thankfully, we get a full fledged doctor in, in remiss now. So, thank you so much. You Congratulations. Know, all support and things. That's <laughs> it. You know, inform me that now. Nah, I say, well, I will take the opportunity for tell all man and answer to the group. Say, yes. You know, now we know we can say Dr. Rashid without looking over our shoulders. You know, <laughs> <laughs> now that's mm -hmm. been the worry about. But you know, thank God. We knew that's gonna happen. You know, it's yeah. Going through that. <laughs> yeah. So we we do yeah, the celebration. You know. <laughs> yes, definitely. <laughs> Secondly, I don't know if Namio, but I think the the turnout probably be for better. Uh, I did not been say today in uh, Mothering Sunday in America. You know, we fumbled in mm -hmm. America. They, then they celebrate today. And then thirdly. Now, me, I don't know, or not, not, but if you watch the invite, it just says something, the first way it showed that 1900 hours. So I think say, a lot of people let me look at saying at seven o'clock we start as opposed to six o'clock. Mm. So if now we don't fall to do our apologies for that, but definitely not six o'clock we start. Thank you so much for that. Okay. Yeah, Auntie Jerry, you want to say something? Remember, I said the time don't change. And happy Mother's Day to all the mothers. We are celebrating our Mother's Day. And to the fathers who are mothers, Happy Mother's Day. You guys are awesome. You're doing a great job. And thank you for the invitation. I really appreciate it. Thank, thank you. Thank you very much. God Absolutely. bless you guys. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Yeah, Dr. Ture. Yeah. No, no, Dr. Yeah. Ture, I see this here. Yeah, boy, I'll put them back down. All right, okay. okay um, Fatima, you still there with me? I'm not see Fatima again. Okay, Sisugi, you answer your last word, please. Follow us. Yeah. We don't pass time now. Yeah. And for, just for say thank you to Dr. Um, Kamara for the for the topic and the interaction back with you know was good. Um, we don't we don't talk at all. All we talk about is for let people attend, then they can get a bit of information. So then go get the then the nine go arm them when they go to the doctor for saying that this and uh, you know and they can come back can ask you know say that's what the doctor say. But if fine for let people in, if it's possible for let them join then then session yes yeah, so, so that they self go get. Uh, the little information when they get, it better pass for like they don't get information at all. So I just want to say thank you and thank you for all my way attend. Thank you very much, Ma. Dr. Tore? Yes, thank you, everybody. Thank you, Dr. Kamal. Very nice, uh, well explained uh, uh, session. Uh, very much interactive. I uh, think tell everybody thank you. We can join me today. Uh, I want to let people they know say when it comes to cancer in general. Nothing where you life day in the balance. So mm. though we know they play with her. If you unwell or even if you feel you well, it's fine for let you go get your routine checks. Yeah. This why I already be the talk about so hematological uh, lab. This this in a blood test they need for do for you for let them go diagnose most of the thing there, regardless of your color or whatever. So now we do we check them. So until we meet again in two weeks time, I tell you all thank you for una joint. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Um, Dr. Bell, you did in a position for talk. Okay, Dr. Kamara, you answer your last word while we meet with Dr. Bell. Yes, yeah. Dr. Bell, yeah. Dr. Bell yeah. you answer your last word to people there. Eh? Yes, yes. Tell them we we attend. Thank you very much for attending. Tell Dr. Kamara, um, uh, 
thank you for the for the talk. I mean, it's very, very important for the people to know this as well. Uh, people are not going to talk much about this topic, and it's good to say, um, Dr. Kama, able to give this this topic. Um, I hope for soon or all also next in two weeks time, um, because we all, we all know say well body better past chanting. Thank you very much, Pierre. Yes, Mamulen, thank you, thank you. We're back with a bang, and I hope soon I enjoy this, and we're here for the long haul. So please, 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 when I remember, I tell you what, people that we don't go through sick, then go tell you, say, oh yeah, well body is way, way better past gentry. Believe you me, because the money, the couple, the wealth we get, you go spend them for everything. And then the sick end up take you, you know. Mm -hmm. So if you're able to capture them in time, I tell you what, use them for then say, take from your wealth for your health. Because not only with good health that you can continue for do what you want. It's as simple as that. So if you go find that cup up and seek, well, you get for understanding without the good bo well body, there's no chance for let you continue for do, even for, for function as a human being, you know, family, you know, loved ones and other ones, colleagues and friends, clearly the well body is nine better pass, you know, the fact that the gentry will come uh, later on, but definitely without the well body, the gentry could be in jeopardy. There's no questions about that. So as Doc say, this cancer thing, the sooner they catch them, the better it is for you. Especially the one with leukemia, now blood work. So if the GP uh, call you or you don't reach that age, we then call you. Like we reach 60, you reach 70, then call you for go do. Whether well, then have a check for, for, for blood upon the motion, you know, the stool, or call you for check for, for see if there's anything else to go on this and that. Or if you get fumbled, then we uh, don't get breast cancer, then go for go check it for see if you get that gene or not. Please, please, please do ya. Then they go save a lot of lives. I tell you what, just for the fact say we uh, take up the program for do that vaccine, what they call HPV vaccine, and we get picking them, the death rate from cervical cancer don't count mm -hmm. by up to 15, 20%. Mm -hmm. That just tells you mm -hmm. now, which is screening to achieve, which mm -hmm. we can do by that. So the sooner, the better, but above all, well body, better pass, gentry. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Dr. Kamar. Uh, me, I don't eat the amount of food weight 60 year old age, but I don't eat 60 age. So by God power, I reach that age day. And then we'll call me, I'll go test myself. Um, so me, American people, them, um, like we, um, Jai, we see just now, um, happy Mother's Day. And to all we Muslim brothers and sisters, happy belated um, Eid Mubarak. Till we meet again in two weeks. Take care. And look after yourself. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Yep.